Hey everyone, glad to be with you again, and we uh, just glad to be able to do some devotions with you each week, and so we want to just give you some upcoming things that are happening also. Uh, Brandon, this Saturday, SoCon for Men. This Saturday. So that's at 9.30. 9.30. And um, just a great way to get together with the men's, have Absolutely. a devotional, have breakout groups, and just discuss what we've learned that morning. So we'd love to be, love for you to be a part of that. And yeah. also, what else is coming up? Trunk or Treat. Trunk or Treat. Yeah. Saturday the 24th. 4th. 2 to 4 p.m. Yeah. It's going to be a good time. We're excited about it. It's all going to be outside. Yeah. And um, if you haven't signed up yet to decorate your trunk... We need you to do that. Yep. And uh, we're excited about that and just Absolutely. being able to reach out to our community and do something fun. Do something fun. In this season yeah, of, of dread. Of cancellation. Yeah, and exactly. everything. So Also, if you would help us with that, uh, we're going to have a box out in the lobby. Mm-hmm. If you would bring some candy and help donate for that yeah. event. So just yeah. um, bags of candy. Okay. Um, yeah, that would help yeah, us out. That would help. Yeah. yeah. So what's going on in the Snavely, Snavely world? Um, you know, how to, uh, every once in a while I get a chance to speak at different um, places. I, I, I share some at Chapel at Finney. Yeah. That's cool. I love, love that opportunity to do that. Um, I took a chicken with me this past week and spoke with the chicken. I had it like right here. The um, whole time? Not the whole time. Oh, but, <laughs> but it was, you know, for like five or ten minutes. And it just sat there. Like it would look around, every once in a while it would start squawking, so I'd move the mic down, the kids, they loved it. it yeah, was, I bet. It was kind of something different and fun, so um, anyways, there was actually a point to having the chicken, it wasn't just for fun, yeah. so anyways, that's, yeah. that was kind of something fun I did this last week. Good. Yeah. What about you? What's we, going on? We went, Saturday, we went to a couple apple farms. Oh, cool. So we went to shoots. Is it shoots or shuts? Well, somebody, it was somebody let me know that because <laughs> every t- every person I talked to, they would say shuts or shoots. I, I think it's shoots. Amanda Drexler works there now, so what does yeah. Oscar? Well, so does so does my nephew. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah, Elliot works there too. Oh, so, he does. Yeah, so I think it's shoots. I think it's shoots. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, that's what I think. We went there and 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 another place, and we got the you know the donuts and the apple cider. Have to get them. So good. Have to get them. Oh my goodness, they were so good. So yeah, it was fun. That's awesome. what we did Saturday. I love it. I love yeah, it. so we had a good we had a good time. I love this time of year and the leaves changing. Absolutely it's so beautiful. So yeah, we wanted to just to bring you just a thought out of God's word today. I'm going to have Brandon read Romans chapter five. I love the first five verses, and hopefully, what Paul will do for us is put into perspective on how we deal with suffering. And actually, we're going to talk about that on Sunday. Mm. Of how do we have a right perspective or how can we think differently when life stinks, mm-hmm. when life's not going the way we want it to? How can we get a different perspective and how can we think differently? And Paul here gives us a great perspective on how God works suffering and trials into our lives and what does it ultimately produce. That's, so, good. Yeah. That's good. So Romans 5, 1 through 5. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. That's good. That's good. I, I like what Paul is saying here. He's saying that we have to endure or be patient mm-hmm. when we're going through trials or suffering, that God allows them to happen. So if we patiently endure, it will produce character, which character ultimately gives us hope, knowing that our ultimate hope is in Christ Jesus who conquered this world for us. So I, I wanted to dig in a little bit deeper on what the word character means. Hmm. And what, what we're asked to do is to be patient in enduring the trial, which will ultimately produce character. So I want to read from you from, uh, from Barnes' commentary uh, about this word patience. He, he um, kind of 
extracts here for us what it means to be patient and and to and what how it produces character in our life and this is what barnes notes say on this it says patient endurance of trial produces character the word rendered character means trial or testing or that through examination by which we ascertain the quality or nature of a thing as when we test a metal by fire or in any other way to ascertain that it is genuine. The meaning is that long afflictions born patiently show a Christian what he is, mm. that the, they test his belief and they prove that it is actually genuine. So what, what Paul is telling us there, the character means the character is, is what is produced by enduring that suffering. So the word character actually means testing. And so what it does is it proves that we genuinely believe that God is for us, that God is in control. And so it tests the quality of what we're truly trusting. Mm -hmm. So without the suffering, we can't really know what we're trusting yeah. or where our faith really is. So the suffering and when we endure the suffering and we're patient through, which is not easy, mm -hmm. it's never easy to mm -hmm. endure um, trials. But if we patiently endure it, knowing that God is doing something, what is eventually produced is something that is genuine, that it shows our character for what it is. Right. Right. Um, I think it was Alistair Beck said this. He said, you know, like people like Daniel or we see, you know, men of faith, women of faith in the Bible, the trials that... Um, like maybe that Daniel went through, right. Alistair Beck says, it, it didn't, um, it, it didn't like show like the, the discipleship process by him going through a difficult time. Uh, it didn't uh, show that, okay, I'm, I'm being discipled through this and I'm growing through this. Actually, the trial that he went to showed that he truly was a disciple, that, that he was enduring that, knowing that he could trust God and that God mm -hmm. um, was with him. And so, you know, it, it, the, the, you know, I think what we need to understand is when we go through suffering, it's easy to, you know, to say, oh, woe is me or yeah. why is this happening to me? Yeah. But if we can look at it like eventually this is going to produce hope in us, that, that it's going to give us a greater sense of who God is and what he has for us if we don't lose our patience yeah. or we don't allow God to continue his work in us. Right. Um, so I don't know how it speaks to you, Brandon. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I like the I like the word pictures, and I like thinking of the the gold refining process, mm -hmm. right? Because of the the heat that's necessary to bring out those impurities in 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 the gold, right, or whatever that metal is, so that it then it can be that pure pure thing that really then has the value. So um, it's it's difficult when we're going through challenging things to think of that situation as something that's actually refining us, yeah. so to speak. We don't really like to think about, mm -hmm. about it that way. But if we can see, I think, for me, that um, there, like you're saying, it is hopefully getting us back to that point right. where we're looking back to where our hope is. Um, and, I, and I love that what you said about the situation actually... Um, being what shows our yeah. dependence on Christ. Yeah. Um, um, so that's it's hard to keep that into perspective, but it's so, so important, I yeah. think. Um, yeah. That, that, that we, we almost allow the process to take place, you know? It, and yeah. I don't know, instead of fighting so hard every time we go through something challenging. It is, because it's easy to think, is God against me or, mm -hmm. you know, and he's not, he's for us. He's using mm -hmm. it for our, our benefit. Mm -hmm. And I like how Paul finishes it by saying, but it ultimately gives us hope mm -hmm. that our hope is in Christ who conquered everything for us. And so if, if we patiently adore and, and trust the Lord, you know, I think back to Paul where the thorn in his, right. you know, in his flesh, right. you know, this is my grace is sufficient for you in your weakness. I will be strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's hard for us to see that God is actually using that for our benefit. Right. Right. Not for our detriment. Mm -hmm. He's using it for, for, for our benefit. Mm -hmm. And so through through the trials we go through, 
it will show that we are disciples of Christ. Right. It, it will right. show it. And I think that was like Al, Alistair Begg's mm. point. It will show who we trust. It shows our discipleship. Yeah. It shows that we are disciples of God by us enduring through um, the trial. Mm -hmm. and, and, and at the end of that, it shows our character. It shows the character. That's what's produced, that we patiently endure. It shows our character by enduring uh, the testing, and that's what ultimately produces in us. What ultimately gives us hope in Christ that right. He is with us, and gives us His peace and strength um, through it all. And yeah. It's hard. I mean, discipleship is, is not is. easy. <laughs> it's not easy, but God uses it for His purpose and His glory if we trust Him. So, right. yeah, it's great. It's a good verse. Good verses. Like so, um, yeah, we're we're definitely praying for you and for our. For our church and you know praying just for the world that we're living in today yeah. there's a lot going on and we yeah. need to be praying Absolutely. you know uh for our country and for um uh you know the upcoming in november and the election everything that's going on we definitely yeah. need to be in prayer and we know that god is sovereign yeah. god is in control right and so uh, right. but but uh, but we're praying for you and uh, so yeah anything else brandon that's all I got. That's all you got. <laughs> all right, man. Well, good. It was once again. It was great to be with you again, and hopefully, we'll see you on Sunday. If not, we will see you um, online. And uh, so, it's great to be with you again today. Thank God you bless guys. you guys. See you. Have a great day.